There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash! Hi, I'm Giselle. Welcome to the Giselle Mishmash. We'll have a whole mishmash of fun together. Starting with making a bed using shapes. That's what I'm doing. I have made this big comfy bed using shapes like this one. Do you know the shape? It has four corners, one, two, three, four, and four sides, one, two, three, four, and two of the sides are the same size, they're long, and then the other two sides are short, and they're the same size. So this shape here is a rectangle. So I am going to add it to my bed. I'm gonna put it right there. And then there's this shape here. This shape has one, two, three, four corners, four sides, one, two, three, four. And all of the sides are the same size. So this here is a square. So I'm gonna add my square next to my rectangle amongst all of my other rectangles and squares that are making my big comfy bed. Oh, one last shape is this one. Just take it from my bestie basket. It's this one here. It is, I believe, a big rectangle. Almost looks like a square, but anyway, it's a blanket and it is comfy and cozy and perfect for my bed. You can ask a grown-up if you can use some of the shapes in your house to make a big, comfy, cozy bed like this. Okay, let's see what's up next here in the Giselle Mishmash. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> what's the weather like where you live? Is it hot or cold outside right now? Well, if it's hot, that means the sun is shining nice and bright. Mm, I love a nice, hot, sunny day. The sun can be very hot. What else is hot? To know the difference between hot and cold is very important because knowing the difference can help keep you safe. Mm-hmm, it's true. Like, coffee. It's a cup of coffee, hot or cold? A cup of coffee is hot. So you must be very careful around a cup of coffee because if this spills, it can hurt. What about, let's see, oh, a snowman. Is a snowman hot or cold? A snowman is cold. This is a toy snowman. But if it was real, it'd be very cold. How about, oh, a stove. Is a stove hot or cold? A stove is hot. And you must be very careful at all times around a stove because a stove can be dangerous. So you must stay very clear of the stove. The stove has a roast of chicken inside of it. <laughs> and let's see, what else? Oh, a swimming pool. Is a swimming pool hot or cold? Well, a swimming pool can be very refreshing and cold. Oh, a swimming pool can be lovely on a hot, sunny day to cool off. And, oh, ice. Is ice hot or cold? Ice is cold, very cold. Ice is water that's frozen. Mm. And how about a fireplace? Is a fireplace hot or cold? A fireplace is hot, so you must be very careful around a hot fireplace. And oh! A blow dryer. This helps to dry your hair. Hot or cold? 
A blow dryer can get very hot, so you must be very careful with a blow dryer. In fact, anything with a plug is dangerous, so you must stay away, stay clear from blow dryers. Anything with a plug. What about, oh, this? A candle. Is this candle hot or cold? I think this one, this is not a real candle. There it is, I just lit it up. This is a fake candle. Now, a real candle, can it get hot or cold? It gets hot. So candles, stay away from candles. Anything hot can be very dangerous. But what about an ice cream cone? Hot or cold? An ice cream co cone is cold Ooh, and delicious. I wish this one was real. It's a toy ice cream cone, but doesn't that look good? <laughs> and let's see. Oh, a cup of cocoa. Hot or cold? Cocoa is hot. So again, you must be very caref careful around hot cocoa. And what else? Oh, there's something else. Oh, this. You must recognize this. This is a phone charger. So again, you must be very careful because is it hot or cold? Well, right now it's cold because it's not plugged in, but you must stay away from it because it has a plug and that means that it can be dangerous because a charger can get hot. Okay, and then, oh, soup, hot or cold? Soup is hot. Mm, it smells delicious. I'll just have a little bit of a taste. Oh, that's hot soup. I shall add some ice to my soup. Oh, my ice is melted. Melted ice is water. And it's just the perfect temperature to drink. Cheers. Are you ready to get fit? Are you ready to get healthy? Are you ready to build those muscles? Are you ready to click clock? Yes! Okay, let's start by loosening up the shoulders. You gotta stand up to loosen up the shoulders. That's it, loosen them up like this. And then add in the arms over here. Just loosen up the arms and the shoulders. Loosen that up. You can do it. That's it, I see you. You can do it. And let's add in the legs. Now just shake your legs over here to loosen them up. While you shake those shoulders and you shake those arms, just keep loosening yourself up. That's it, that's how we warm up. Now that we're loosened up, let's click clock. Okay, we are going to do the sprinkler. All right, so what we do is this. You bring your elbow up over here. You bring the other arm straight and lock it in a fist like this. You see that? It's straight. And this one's up over here. And now we bring the elbow and the arm together and then we pump it out like this. Bring them together and pump it out like this. Okay, let's click lock with the sprinkler. Here we go. And... That's it. Other side, elbow up. Arms straight in a fist. Bring them together, and here we go. Yes, that's it. And now we're gonna start low and do it. Okay, bend your legs, bend those knees, and now put your arm up. And the other one straight in a fist, and bring them together, and here we go. And. Other side, elbow up, fist straight, and here we go, bring them together, and... Yes, that's it. Oh, well done. We have just done a click clock, and we have built our muscles, so let's thank them. Thank you, muscles. Yeah. It's here, it is Mantelpiece Masterpiece. 
I look at the beautiful masterpiece that I have on my mantelpiece. It is called Winter Scene, and it's designed, created by Sammy, who's three years old. Thank you, Sammy. This is absolutely stunning. I love all the snow in your winter scene. Sammy is from Toronto, Canada, like me. And so I know winter scenes. In the winter, we have a lot of snow, just like this. Oh, it looks like a blizzard. There's so much snow. There's so much wind blowing that snow around. What's it like where you live? Do you have a winter season? Oh, I'd love to receive masterpiece from you for my mantelpiece. It could be of a season like winter or summer or a monsoon. I don't know. There's all sorts of seasons around the world. I would love to receive it and display it here on my mantelpiece. You can do so by taking a photo of any of your masterpieces and then you upload it. You can ask a grown up to help you upload it to GiselleMishmash.com. And from there, I print it, and then, ta-da, I display it here on my mantelpiece. I do hope you send in your masterpieces, and I also hope that you'll join me next week for another video of the Giselle Mishmash. Thank you for joining me. It's so nice to be here with you. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.